It's me who sold her the MDMA. You ruined it. Emily! My girlfriend won't look at me. I could cry every minute. We started again before. Can you do it now? I don't think so. <laughs> you put a kid in hospital. I couldn't spend the way that she was fucking looking at him. I love him, Cook. Sentence set for two weeks from today. Take him down. Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Not enough time for a full workout. Mm -mm. Well, don't worry, because Fit Fitness has got the answer. Yeah. A new concept in fitness that gives you a full body workout in just five, five minutes. minutes. The Hyper Fit Machine. Yo. So get fit. Get yeah, Hyper Fit. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> Any chance you could invent a money making machine while you're at it? Oh, you're looking at it, love. You girls have to work. Someone has to. I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Later, lover. Uh, Rob? Yeah? Where's that boat go? What? Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> Things are cool, aren't they, Mum? Between you and Dad? Of course, Gatekins. Nothing for you to worry about. How unreal do I look? Amazingly unreal. Dean is going to come in his pants when he sees me. <gasps> Brandy! Baby! You look unreal. Sorry, I'm late. My colonic overran. Jenna, have you talked to OK about covering the wedding? Unfortunately, Vivian Lee insisted they only cover premiership dues. Excuse me? I mean, negotiations are still ongoing. Wonderful. Now, we also want a gaggle of swans, a hundred doves and a trained owl. An owl? To bear the ring. These will be expensive extras. Jenna, I promised Brandy the wedding of her dreams, and that is what she'll have. I'm sure you'd want the same for Katie. Look, I'll sort out the hen night, and you just deal with the owls and stuff, okay? Daughters, eh? What would we do without them? I don't know. <laughs> See you tonight. Don't forget the theme. Sluts and studs. Sluts and studs. <laughs> oh, come on then. Now, Catherine, your home tests were coming up correct. You're not pregnant. Oh, thank God. Well, what's up with my periods then? Your results show that you're going through something called a premature menopause. Oh, right. Shit. I can't imagine what you're feeling. 
Not being able to have children, well, it isn't a nice thought, is it? Especially at your age. What are you talking about? Catherine, the menopause prevents you from ovulating. Which means you won't be able to conceive babies. What? Ever? Well, but there's pills for that, right? I'm afraid not. I know this is a lot to take in. Would you like me to call your mum? Well? Have I got you knocked up? Oh, thank fuck, that would totally not be awesome. Woohoo! Mm. 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 Woohoo! <laughs> you can pretty much fuck off now. What's with the man, sugar titties? Leave me alone. Kitty cap, stop kidding round. Do I look like I'm kidding? You're dumped. Fuck off. Sweetheart, um, I can assure you. The Fitch, the Fitch Fitness account has been empty. This has nothing to do with Fitch Fitness. I use our family account and we are not bankrupt. I'm sorry about this. Give me a moment to look into it. Um, do you know your password? Look, you know, I don't have time for this. I'm trying to run a business here. So why don't you just get off this stupid screen and sort it out? No, we haven't received any notifications. No, nothing. Zilch! Did you not ever jump the exceeded your overdraft limit? Our soul! Are you referring to me? No. Not you. Mum? What are those? <sighs> Deep breaths, Jenna. Deep breaths. Mum? Morning, we're home! Mum, the nurse said that I have an unusual fascination for the female anatomy and that I should consider a career as a gyna... 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 What's the word, Dad? Gynecologist. Something you want to tell me, Rob? What's happening? You'll be alright. Everything's gonna be fine. Easy loving me. It gets so complicated. All the things you gotta be. Everything's changing. But you're the truth. I'm amazed by all your patience, everything I put you through. When I'm about to fall, somehow you're always waiting when you're holding arms to catch me. You're gonna save me from myself. Like I'm the one in the wrong. Just calm down, love. I'm gonna burn your gym of the year certificate. What? What 
What's going on, Mom? Is Dad coming back? We'll talk about it later. You need to concentrate on doing a good job for me tonight. Okay? I've got a lot riding on this wedding now, sweetheart. Let me look at you. My B F F E. Nice outfit. Sorry about the change in theme. Candy surprises us all with these. Sultan, I was gonna get you. I uh, did not put on the back. <laughs> Another shop brand. W T F plans. Here we go. A toast to my new boyfriend, Danny Glamour. <laughs> to husbands, handbags, and holidays. <laughs> Danny's told me about you. Pick it up bigger tip. I feel like Danny's favourite thing ever. You never complain, not to your face. So, you got a new man now then? Brandy, baby, I am being Katie to work, not to socialise. Sorry, Mom. Our cable is finally ready, girl. <laughs> my darling daughter has been blessed with her loot. And what God didn't give her, my plastic surgeon did. <laughs> Brandy, sweet art, beautiful. I am so proud of you. You've grown up to be a sexy, arousing woman. What with the wedding and now the baby, you've just exceeded all my expectations. Money is a secret. Well, it's better for people to know than that you're a fatty. Girl, Will you please raise your glasses and toast my angel, daughter, and grandchild bearer to Brand Delicious. Brand Delicious. Now let's all get completely wrecked. Give them pat something to drink tomorrow. <laughs> Raven, huh? I'm so angry Mummy told everyone I got knocked up. Yeah, I bet. Oh, I'll have some of that. You do know you're not supposed to drink when you're pregnant. Don't care. And I don't think you can talk to me like that. I'll do what I want. You're in my way. Move. You cool? Have a drink with us. Is that a joke? Katie, you haven't changed. I can see straight through you. Likewise. You never gonna let that smile falter. Only when yours does. Sweetheart, I've run out of bags. You'll need to run along and go get some more. One, I'm not your fucking maid. Two, I don't work for you. So you'll have to go and get your own bags, sweetheart. Stupid bitch. Who's that? It's all our respect, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Look at yourself. 
You are disgusting. You are an embarrassment. Sucker money. You and your useless mother of fire. Get rid of us. Come on, sweetheart. I don't smoke. Are you scared of uh, cancer? Fuck it. <coughs> Steady. <coughs> you didn't inhale properly. Breathe in. Now breathe in again so it goes there. Why are you being nice to me? Life's too short. You're such a fucking cliche. So what's it like? What's what like? Love. Right? It's really lovely. That sounded convincing. It's fine. Nothing's ever perfect, you know? I thought it could be. I wanted the perfect boyfriend, perfect marriage, perfect everything. What's changed? Me. I don't know who I am anymore. I thought you were Katie fucking fit. I used to hide in the bath when she was angry. I've really messed up, kiddo. Yeah, but you love each other, right? For richer, for poorer. Kids, it seems that your father has let us down once again. Jan, please. You've been selfish and stupid. Mum, stop I it. I suggest you keep strum, young lady, considering you've lost us the only income we had. Because of his stupidity, this house, our home, is being taken from us. Today. Tell your children what that means, Rob. It means we're homeless. That's right. It means we're homeless. Because of your dad. I tried to save the gym. Steve's loan company's the nicest pie woman. Next thing, they're calling you up, sending you letters. But you've got to believe me, we're going to make a fortune out of that machine. That machine's a total waste of space, Bob. Just like you. Take James <laughs> upstairs. But, Mum, if you for once, do as you're told. Yeah. Oh, you
Come on, folks. Good morning, sweetheart. Where are we? Because that's your belongings. Lads, you're going to be reasonable, yeah? Certainly. Ain't we? Reasonable's our real name. Oh, uh, Do you just read out your court order just so I know you're not, you know, cunts? Not you. <clears throat> By the order of the county court given this day, 17th of February 2010, it is hereby given down that goods to the value of £13,337 new and jammers and granted license to repossess. Are you still there, Mr. Bitch? Hello? So it's not right here. All right, my lover. You gonna open up? I got sweeties. Tito. Challenge, go! Now. Right, fuck this, we're going in. Hello? Tell you what, I think it's happened again. Fucker. Oh well. Fuck it, can't think of everything. Oh, look, they got one of them there glass swans. Or two. My mum used to have one of those. Yeah. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh, it's really heavy. Perfectly sculptured. Look at this, bud. You see, it's the it's the weight of the lead that they put in a crystal, see? Oh. Feel the quality of him. Oh, yeah. I can see where you're coming from, Kev. I take some from my carol. Well, I promise Phil some uh, new saucepans. All right. And a toaster. You get a better quality of toaster up at this estate. Well, you know what they're like round here. All fur coat, no knickers. Yeah. You've a reach in it. Once you, I wouldn't have done it out like this, would you? Well, I don't like that paint job at all. Magnolia and lime. In lime? All that time when those fucking bills were coming in and you were doing nothing about it. How long was that? Because when I looked at them, I said it was a good six, seven you months worth there. Because you six wouldn't six let me deal with it. Worth is a fucking sofa. Is that what? Uh, Hey, Annette, you, I'm married. Just you're not going to have a shower. Don't stop rocking the door, Chelsea. Get in the car. I hate KFC. What? Elliot Evans' parents got divorced, and his dad spent every night in KFC. Then he met this woman, and she had a huge problem. So he tried to help her, and a friend got really angry, and he ended up with only one kneecap. And now, his mum's doing poor news, and his dad's a junkie. And he never sees them, except on the internet, and then he has to pay for it. I mean, how unfair is that? Drop me and the kids at the airport. I'm going to my mum's. No! Get back in the car, Katie. Mum, we can't afford the flights to Malaga. We're broke. You want to sleep with your dad on the streets? So how come to that? Where else are we going to stay? Fix it, Rob. I'm getting in the car and I'm leaving with the children. There is someone we can stay with. Who? Hey. Good morning, Naomi. You're looking sexy. You heard of a shower? What do you want? This is difficult, okay? But we've lost our house. Oh, that was careless. So what? We need somewhere to stay. 
Your house is pretty empty at the moment. You're having a fucking laugh. Yes, Naomi. I'm kidding that my parents have no money, no house, and are about to split up. I'm sorry, but it's not my problem. Oh, but it is. Because it's Emily's problem. She's your girlfriend. That makes it your problem. No lesbian dicks? That I can't promise. I'm gonna sort this. I'll be back later. to look for somewhere to live actually. I'm not going in there. Please mum. You've got nowhere else to go. Run out of cereals. Gary Baldy? Look at her swanning about as if she's done nothing wrong. She hasn't. I want the best for Emily and she isn't. How do you know? Mums know these things. You'll realise that one day. Are you really going to leave Dad? When your dad and I got married, we had nothing. We spent years working and saving so that you kids could have the best of everything. And for what? It's all gone. I never thought we'd split up. But then I never thought I'd be evicted from my home, that my daughter would be a... so rebellious. I always let you down, princess. They fuck things up. Not you, though. Mum, I need to tell you something. I know everything's going wrong at the moment, but I, it's just... I went to the doctors the other day and... You've just let her march into our home. She's your mum. She's a selfish cow, isn't she? Emily, whatever. Stay here. Don't expect me to care, because I don't. It's just for a couple of days while we get ourselves out of this pickle. Stay out of my way. This is my house. I live here with my girlfriend, and we're having a barbecue. All right? Whatever you say, love. I'm going to finish emptying the car.
more pills. Okay. Don't you think you've had enough? I don't think. It makes life much easier. Naomi, hey, darling? Got any more of your special powder? No? Don't. Um, where's cooking need, you know? Somebody find some more pills. Another fun day at Mrs. and Mrs. Candles. Come on! What's wrong with everyone? Have a music up. Come on, you boring bastard. Oh, get off the floor! <laughs> Can I interest you ladies in a special cook to perfection burger? That is exciting. Hey guys, you miss me? Maybe I do. So what? That's enough. What's this all about? It's none of your business. I fucked the dead girl. I fucked Sophia, gave her the drugs, and now she's punishing me for it. I knew you'd screw her up. Hey! Good news, everyone. I found there's a caravan. What have I missed? Why don't you all just fuck off? Look at you. Pretending to be happy families. <laughs> Pretending to love each other. Don't you dare speak to me like that. Get off your high horse. I can't, I can't be here anymore. <laughs> Bit melodramatic. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? Stop it! Ah! Come on, son. <sighs> um.
you going to stand there till they get back? Yes. Yes, I'll get you a towel in. But, uh... Just sit down. Bit of a pickle. <laughs> Do you think I'm a bitch, Thomas? I think you are Katie. You should always be you. You're strong and... I'm too aggressive. Just like my fucking mum. I know it, I am a bitch. Everyone relies on you to tell the truth, Katie. They need you. That thing you do, is it for real? What's the thing? It's the lovely, honourable thing. I'm not. I screw up so often. Panda, college, everything. Right now I'm mercy of screw. Do you fancy me? Just checking. Of course. I can't have kids. They say I can't have kids. Ever. And you're sad. You think maybe no man will ever want you. But I am a man. And I think you're a beautiful, magnificent woman. Panda was an idiot not to forgive you. I was the idiot. I wasn't honorable. We can be friends. Yes. I'd like that. Me too. Don't you put those things in my bag. I need space for my stuff. I try to get the end of the To give myself a feed more But don't you put those things in my bag Cause all these things are running round my head Catch them Give me five minutes. Mom? Mom, 
I can't have children. I went to the doctors yesterday and they said there's nothing they can do. I wanted to tell you, but you were too busy shouting. It's all about you. I didn't want to let you down, but you let me down. I really needed you and you weren't there. My baby girl. It doesn't matter, Mum. The house and the money, I don't want it. I'm not going to be you. I just want a mum who loves me, no matter what. I do love you, no matter what. Mum, you appreciate us. Stop trying to push us away. Jim. I love you. You stupid bastard. I'm sorry. of animated comedy that's what he falls into on monday night get caught up in the student politics in the cleveland show at 10. then bobby's dipping his toe into political waters but only because he fancies someone at school it's brand new king of the hill at 10 30. next major battles as we catch up with glee